Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. While the India's first indigenous aircraft carrier IC Vikrant is all set to be commissioned on 2nd September, the discussion for the fighter jet operating from its deck has also heated up. There are only two contenders for this requirement, F-18 Super Hornet and Rafal M. Now from what it seems that F-18 is almost certain to win this competition. Boeing has not only claimed to meet the Indian Navy's requirement but also exceeded the expectation. Boeing has offered the Block 3 Super Hornet to Indian Navy, which has the most advanced and many critical capabilities. As claimed by Boeing, with its open architecture design and continuously evolving capability suit, the Super Hornet will outspace current threats, facilitate rapid capability insertion, and has unmatched affordability. Boeing has recently released an extensive offer for India, which we'll be discussing in today's video. As per the firm, if FA-18 Super Hornet is selected as Indian Navy's next carrier-based fighter, there will be economic impact of $3.6 billion to Indian aerospace and defense industry over the next 10 years. The economic impact would be over and above Boeing's current offset obligation and plans in the country. The selection of FA-18 Super Hornet for India will boost investments in India's defense industry. Boeing has plans to build on its existing industrial base and strengthen its commitment to Art Mirror Bharat with continued investment in India across five pillars. These include supply chain development and manufacturing, engineering and transfer of technology, long-term support and training, infrastructure investments and contribution of the Hornet industry team. The Hornet industry team consists of three companies, General Electric, Northrop Grumman and Raytheon. The Raytheon Missiles and Defense provides the APG-79 AESA Fire Control Radar, ALR-67G Radar Warning Receiver, AIM-120 AMRAM and AIM-9X Sidewinder Missiles, MIDS that is Multi-Functional Information Distribution System, Integrated Digital Data and Voice Communications and ARC-210 Radios to the Super Hornet. The firm has three major facilities in Bengaluru, Gurgaon and Hyderabad and is looking to grow its presence and partnership in the country. The engineering resources and capabilities at Bengaluru Engineering Centre of G Aviation could also be leveraged to support the F414 G400 engine which powers F-18 Super Hornet. The F414 INS-6 has been selected by ADA and is qualified to power the Tejas Mark II and AMCA. The F414 INS-6 for LCA Mark II has a Make in India requirement which G is committed to support upon entering the production phase. Boeing is making investments in advanced technologies and capabilities in Block 3 Super Hornet and F-15EX to be ready for the future. Indian Navy will be benefited from these investments for decades to come. Boeing has strengthened its supply chain in India with more than 300 local companies in India and a joint venture to manufacture the fuselages for Apache helicopters with Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited. Annual sourcing from India stands at present to $1 billion. Boeing is also ready to work closely with industry and the US and Indian government to share technology and transfer of technology of F-18 fighters jets in India based on the interest and business case. Boeing is ready to collaborate with Ministry of Defense and Indian industry to develop long-term and self-land sustainment solution for Super Hornet fleet to deliver increased aircraft availability and mission readiness. This will be done by leveraging the existing industry ecosystem across the key support areas such as on and off aircraft maintenance, sustaining engineering, fleet operation support and training and by leveraging the local maintenance repair and overhaul MRO capabilities that Boeing Defense India is building. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.